Okay, the question is, well, why shouldn't I use a vanity press? Okay, and I'll, I'll use a nice word right now. I won't call them vanity presses. I'll call them pay-to-be-published publishers. All right, so you've got self-publisher, which you are the publisher, and you've got pay-to-be-published publishers, vanity press, whatever. Okay, and that would be that whole collection of publishers that though, you know, you generally think of like Office Solutions and that all the, you know, derivatives of all that company. Okay. The problem, okay, that you, you get if, if, you're, if your goal in publishing is to make money, which at the end of the day, 99, when I, I, I do a lot of seminars and, and, you know, I ask everybody, you know, do you plan on making money? You think you're going to be able to make money? And, you know, almost 100% of the hands go up and say, yeah, I think I can make money. Well, you're not going to make money if you use one of these old pay-to-be-published publishers. And let me tell you why. Okay, with self-publishing, okay, I'm going to do this comparison. We're going to put the, all, the, the graphic up, okay, so you can see it at the end, uh, okay, to see what it, all, to focus on it. Because it's very, very important. Okay, with both of these, whether you're the self-publisher or whether you're in a, with one of these pay-to-be-published publishers, you're paying all the costs, right? No matter what anybody tells you, there's no whatever no it doesn't matter what they say you are paying all the costs you the author okay the ISBN told about ownership okay which ownership means it, it's transferable right that you can move you're not tied legally to anybody okay as a self publisher you own the ISBN with the pay to be published they own the ISBN so if you decide to leave them you got to start all over again back from scratch okay the printing files okay we have no oh, Got into the, the, the files that were used to produce your book. They go to the printing press. Okay, as a self, uh, you paid for them. As a self publisher, you own them, right? So if you decide you get mad at me and want to go print someplace else, you do it. Okay, you say, Ron, goodbye, I'll see you later. Okay, with these pay to be published publishers, guess what? Look in that contract. You don't own those files. You can't just pick up and leave. Okay, you're, you're stuck, you know, with them. Okay, now with, uh, with self publishing, uh, you, you pay yourself a royalty when you're doing your business plan. Okay, they say, well, a royalty you're paying to yourself. You're paying yourself a royalty. Just like when it pay to be published, they pay a royalty, right? So you got royalty, royalty. Okay, the bottom line, and this is the reason why you can't make money with this other form, with this pay to be published, okay, is to publish your profit. This is the money that's left over, right? The money that's left over that generally goes into marketing, right? With the pay to be published publisher, they make that money. The publisher profit goes to the publisher. Okay, you're over here at, uh, with self-publisher. You make the money. So you're not only making royalty, you're making the profit. Where with the pay-to-be-published publisher, all you're making is the royalty. And you want to, you can't, I mean, you cannot, like, take a loss and make it up in volume. I mean, all you have to do, you don't even have to be that good with math. Do the math. It doesn't work. Okay, and that's because of that one large component. That publisher profit, if you're the publisher, you want to be making it. If you're paying all the bills, you want to be making it. You don't want somebody else to be making it.